What is up guys, Ryder with Polar Knives and Steel here. I got a quick holiday gift guide for you. Um, I wanted to make this video because I know that there is some gear going up tonight that you do not want to miss out on. I have no affiliation to any of these companies. I just really like uh, them. Uh, I guess this company, but we're not going to promote this. Uh, we're not going to promote Dirty Bird in general. So just fair warning. Um, I just I purchased all this gear, or it has been gifted to me. Actually, I purchased all of this gear. <laughs> um, I purchased all of this stuff. It's excellent gear. I would recommend it any time of the year, but for the holidays, it's great if you're buying uh, somebody in the EDC community a gift and you don't want to spend, you know, $400 on a Sabenza. So, without further ado, let's just hop into some of the stuff I got out of here. Let me clean it up. Um, we're just going to start with that gear that is going to be going up tonight. Now, it's JW Gear. Uh, and they are going to be putting up some torque drivers uh, in collaboration with Combat Beads. They're going to have Ultim, Micarta, and a couple of other things. I highly, highly recommend you get torque drivers. Um, these are perfect for any EDC collector. Uh, this one is from Prometheus Design Works. I love, love, love these little magnetic drivers. They all have Weeha bits. If you're looking for something fancy for somebody, um, grab a Weeha bit. I'm sorry about the background noise, guys. I wasn't gonna make this video. It's about 20 below outside, and so my uh, where I've got my studio right now is is in the, in the room with the boiler uh, to keep it warm. So it's just gonna keep going. I want to give you guys an opportunity. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. Uh, this is from Scout Leather Co. And you can actually find these still. Um, I'll, I'll try and drop links in the bio. This one you're not going to be able to find from Prometheus because it was uh, a semi-limited drop. But we do have the copper um, from Scout Leather Co. That's going to come with a leather roll and all of the bits that you need. Uh, and then you might even be able to find these and oversized ones on Burnley, at least last time I was looking for them. They also come in titanium. Uh, and brass, but the ones that are going up tonight are going to be Ultim. I'll see if I can sneak in a picture here and just show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, I would go get in on that. They are going to go fast though, and if you can't find those, I'll try and also include a link to these guys here. Uh, this is one of my favorite driver sets ever. Uh, can't recommend them enough. I highly, uh, highly suggest going and trying to get in on that drop tonight. I think it's going to be 7 p.m. Uh, EST. Don't quote me on that, but um, go check it out. Can't recommend these enough for somebody who's into EDC. Uh, they're very useful uh, no matter where you are in collecting, even if you're just really light on that totem pole. You're going to spend about 100 bucks. 100 bucks for, for these guys. I think that's what both of them ran me. This one for the set. Um, this might have been a little bit more expensive because of the branding and the extra machining and the fact that it's Prometheus, but um, somewhat affordable. The next thing on my list for the EDC person in your life is going to be one of these guys or some sort of pocket organizer. This one is obviously from Hitch and Timber. I've done a ton of research. Hitch and Timber does a great job. There's also Wild Moon Leather out there. I don't have any of their EDC stuff or their... Um, pocket organizers but I do know that they've done some other stuff hitch and timber is really good at what they do they have a bunch of different options from the engineer to little notebook covers and all this sort of stuff and uh, you know you'll see I have this one here I do have one more from them that's like a triple pocket organizer I don't know why this knife is so dirty it's just just stuff on the, the countertop but this is one way that they can actually uh, you know keep other things in their pocket I've carried this sort of setup before so you can have your your uh, little EDC uh, folder, uh, and then your main folder, and then a pen. If you know EDC guys, you know that they're not happy with just one knife. And the problem with putting two in your pocket, uh, this one does have a pocket clip, but if it didn't have a pocket clip, this would just be banging all over our nice finish on our Sabenza. It's going to ruin that resale value, and it's going to ruin our knife for our pictures. So you always want to have something like this. The only thing I will say is anything with leather is going to polish uh, materials more than fabric would. So you got to keep that in mind that it will um, polish. I will say too, 
this is a pencil from uh, Smooth Precision Pens. I have had uh, this kind of get caught, uh, or my pens get caught on this little um, uh, nylon bit and actually deploy and stay deployed in my pocket. So if you don't have a, if you have a full size, you can kind of like prop it up there and it'll be okay. Um, if you have other pens, you should be fine. But just keep in mind that anything with a slighter, slightly higher retention is going to kind of tend towards that. Um, it is something about these pens in particular. I, I've seen it happen in my jeans too. Um, and those are on my list as well. But um, I do recommend them a lot. Um, and we'll talk about that right now. Uh, <laughs> Pitch and Timber, I'll drop a link in the bio. Uh, these guys are great. Check them out. Uh, they've got a bunch of different options. So if this doesn't look like quite your speed, check out. They do have a couple of other ones. And, uh, you know, even if you're getting this for an EDC guy, um, they're going to appreciate it. They're going to know that you took the time to look up this video. And these are awesome. Uh, even if it doesn't exactly fit their needs, uh, and I would argue that no solution is going to be perfect for every person, uh, at least you're going to have something really cool that they can, uh, they can appreciate and it'll keep in their drawer and hopefully they'll get some use out of it. We'll talk about these guys right now. Um, smooth precision pens. You notice on my channel that I do have a video called Urban Survival Gear, uh, best USA ma made pens. That is because this is an Urban Survival Gear pen. They just did a massive rebrand. They redesigned their pen. I think they actually did solve some of the problems that I was having. Um, and so I wish them all the best. They do have a really neat pen carrier, which I think is awesome for just if you are a pen collector, uh, even if you're not collecting just their stuff, um, I think those are great. You're gonna run, I think they're running about $150 right now. Awesome pens, they're some of the most affordable. I think they have some of the best designs in the game. Kelvin is a machining wizard. I can't recommend them enough. They do have their flaws, but um, I have not met a pen that I liked for the price uh, that didn't have flaws. Um, if you get something that's perfect, uh, it might cost you three, four hundred dollars. Um, for under two hundred, these guys are going to be excellent, and I know he does a bunch of sales all the time. So check out Smooth Precision Pens. I'll drop a link in the bio or the in the description. Um, again, I don't make any money off this, guys. I just know how hard it is to shop for EDC people on the holidays because they're so particular about their gear. Um, these are going to be options that you can give them. They're not going to break your bank and they're going to love them. Uh, the one thing I will say, of course, now the, the, the engine dies. Um, the one thing I will say about these pens in particular is they are going to be um, pre-order and so they might not go out until December. Um, what I would do, and just because you're thinking about them, is I would include your receipt and I would just show them what you got them uh, if it hasn't been delivered. Kelvin is really good uh, <laughs> machinist and so he may deliver before Christmas. I don't know what the timeline is on those, but I know they are uh, pushed out into December sometime. Uh, they might be shipping right now. You might be able to get it before the holidays. So um, that is an excellent choice. There's a bunch of different options. Uh, you can go on the secondary forums and probably catch some of the older models and any sort of EDC pen for somebody who is collecting on such a high level. This is an excellent, excellent option. All right, on to the next thing. We're going to show off this slip joint from Serge Pinchenko. Um, Serge Knives Co., uh, they do limited drops, so you might not be able to find these directly on his website. Hopefully, he's got some Christmas stuff coming up and in, in time to deliver for the holidays. But what I would do is I would go on to um, like Knife Sales Trading and Feedback or one of the Facebook groups, any of the EDC gear exchanges. If you're not uh, an EDC person, I would go to um, EDC gear exchange, or I would just look up Surge Knife Co. Uh, on Google and hit up like Blade HQ, Knife Center, any of the places that might have some extra stock. Um, these guys are going to run, I think they run 125 to 150 depending on the configuration, um, but you can't beat these. This is just an awesome complement to any carry you cannot beat the value that he's got on these. Serge is a magnificent designer and these knives have an excellent walk and talk. Um, 
They've got excellent design and material options. Um, I have one in titanium with like a different blade shape, uh, but this is the $125 version if I'm not mistaken. You got a pocket clip, which is unheard of for a lot of slip joints, although it is more prevalent now. Um, I would go in search of one of these. This is just called the slip joint, um, but it is an excellent, excellent knife. I cannot recommend them enough. And again, you know, if they're dropping four hundred dollars on a on a sabenza this is the only thing that they're going to want to put in their pocket that isn't one of these right i'm always going to carry a full-size knife like this um it's very rare that i won't and then you give them something like this and now they actually do have options for shorts for summer weather for just chilling around the house and then they have a nice complement to their other knife and with some of the other stuff here you got a full carry uh depending on how much you are willing to spend so go check these out. Again, they are going to be a little bit more difficult to find than um, some of the stuff that's regularly stocked. I am making this video without having checked, so I hope that you can still find them. Again, Blade HQ, uh, Surge Knife Co., uh, GP Knives, uh, you know, check them out. Uh, knife sales, trading, and feedback. You are going to be dealing with private sellers, so do that at your own risk. But I cannot recommend these enough. If you could snag one for the holidays, I think it would be an excellent addition. If I find them in stock, I will drop them down below. All right, on to the next thing. Pocket fixed blade or small compact fixed blade. Um, these are going to run a little bit more. You're not going to get out for under, I mean, you know, a lot of these are going to run closer to, uh, five. Uh, but depending on who your person is interested in, you may have heard them talk about, you can find some nice compact fixed blades, uh, for cheap. And I will say, I don't have any in front of me. But uh, we makes a couple of really tiny fixed blades and that are going to run around $100. Um, a lot of people do not incorporate fixed blades into their carry. And I think that they should, provided that they are legal and you can carry them where you are. Um, we're not going to spend a bunch of time on this one. Uh, this is a Dirty Bird um, Fox Mod 3. Uh, it is a full custom, which is going to drive that price a lot higher. But you can find a bunch of different um, little EDC fixed blade options. And they get much smaller than this. Um, these two happen to be customs, uh, but this one's pretty old, so it was actually affordable. You know, something like a DB um, is going to be harder to find. But again, you know, 300 bucks, and you've got something nice that you can carry, slide in your pocket, and go to work. Um, I will say, again, we knives, some of those production companies are going to have cheaper fixed blades. It's a nice option if you're going camping or just to have, um, and it can round out an EDC very nicely. The thing about people who are into this hobby is uh, as long as you're not buying like cheap, uh, you know, uh, terrible <laughs> uh, little folders, they're probably going to be pretty happy with something that's a little bit different and still complements their EDC nicely. I would go to uh, Blade HQ or GP Knives and I would just look up the fixed blades and then set your filters. I know that there are a couple of options um, from, you know, uh, Wii Knives, CRKT that are going to be okay for what you're doing. Now, uh, that is going to be a little bit more outside of the box uh, for carries because there is so many options and not all of them are going to be great. But take it or leave it. Um, Fox Mod 3, uh, again, this will run you a little bit more. Uh, I do recommend Dirty Bird stuff. I know he does have some production stuff out there. I don't know where it is or if it is available at this moment in time. So best of luck to you. Next, moving on, we got pouches. Um, this is a garage built gear pouch. Um, these are going to be super limited. You are going to have to buy them from private sellers and they are going to run about a hundred bucks, uh, on the secondary market, um, 70 to hundred, depending on what kind of configuration you get. Uh, I think this is the plus model. Um, there are some very comparable models on Amazon. I'll see if I can find a couple of those, uh, that are going to be similar. So they are in stock and you can get for your person. Pouches are great. Uh, put all your patches on the front. Uh, if you're into EDC, you probably have a couple of Ranger eyes or some other patches that you might want to include. Um, this one isn't set up. See, there's that, that heater again. That's why I didn't, <laughs> didn't wait for it to turn off. It's cold outside. Um, 
you know, I just got back from a trip. I popped extra batteries in here. I had uh, a lighter in there. I had an extra knife in there. I had some extra tools, cords for my phone. Um, you can stick a bunch of different stuff in here and you are gonna be able to just drop this in your pocket or your bag uh, and carry it around with you. I can't recommend these enough. Um, I will try and find a link to some of the other pouches of similar size and uh, leave that in the bio or the, the description down below. Um, next one, I wasn't going to include this, but if your person is an EDC guy, they probably also listen to music on occasion. Uh, it's just a generalization. Uh, JBL is one of the best brands in the game, in my opinion. I use this in the shop every day. That's why it's so fucking dirty. Uh, but there is smaller versions that can be EDC'd. They can be thrown in a backpack. These are great. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've gone out to a party, and I've just I've just brought this just because I'm like that, and I saved the day. There was not going to be any music on the boat. There was not going to be any music at the spot. And I brought something like this. The quality is going to be excellent. Um, you are looking at about $150 to $200 for something like this, maybe less with a Black Friday sale. And they do make uh, clip versions, uh, which are awesome. They're waterproof. You clip them on a backpack. I've taken those things snowboarding. Uh, they are awesome. And it's just something really cool to add to somebody's kit. Uh, those are, you're going you're gonna to have, uh, I think they run like 70 to 125 uh, the JBL clip and the JBL charge for are excellent options for people just to have something. Like if you're looking for somebody who's into EDC, uh, if they don't already have one, that's an awesome present. I would be jazzed. Even though I have one of these and I do have a clip, I would take a second clip because I always find myself wandering off with it and I need it somewhere else and I, I want to leave one for my girlfriend. Um, I can't recommend them enough excellent sound quality and then they are also bluetooth which is just standard these days but um just a little one if you're looking for something unique uh that maybe isn't uh one of these items or you can't find any and the last thing we're going to talk about is a fanny pack now stick with me uh, <laughs> uh <clears throat> fanny packs have uh come onto the scene and people are carrying them more and more uh, Taylor Martin has a pretty good video on a couple of EDC brand backpacks uh, or fanny pack uh, items. Uh, this is actually not an EDC brand, but a streetwear brand out of Canada. These are small batch production made. This is RSG Resurgence. Um, I got this guy. It is pretty big, as you can see. Um, we got a couple of different pouches on here. We got the nice Cobra buckles. Um, I do like this one. Uh, one of the selling points of this guy is uh, it is like a shoulder pack, uh, fanny pack thing. Uh, but one of the selling points that got me is you could fit four beers in here, uh, <laughs> which is uh, kind of convenient if uh, you're you're planning on going to a party. If you are a little bit more fashion forward, uh, something like this can be excellent. But the fanny packs in general are coming out, and you got all your standard camo. If you're trying to be a top tier tactical dad, uh, I can. Uh, say that I have worn these before and uh, I like them uh, I think the fanny pack is underrated and they are coming back into style so something a little bit different and these are in stock uh, I'll drop the link down below I do support uh, what's his name JJ uh, he does awesome work he's a incredible designer uh, we've got the mole on the front here uh, and he's taken a lot of inspiration from the tactical community and the tech wear stuff so uh, can't recommend these enough it's got some really nice branding on it that is very reminiscent of EDC something a little bit different other options is you can look at stuff like orbit gear uh, or even triple out design triple out design is going to run the upper end orbit gear is going to be a little bit more affordable I'll try and drop a couple of links down below just to talk about exactly what I mean um, if I do upload this video without the links guys uh, it is because uh, I just wanted to get you guys the the content and uh, I'll, I'll be putting the links in throughout the day unfortunately I do have to work today so I can't uh, spend all my time uh, getting you guys links but I, I, I do want to rush this out for you so uh, yeah fanny pack uh, 
no matter what you're getting for somebody in the EDC community, it is hard to shop for them because they have so many hours spent in this hobby. I think what I've given you guys today are some options that are going to uh, be, they're, they're going to give you some room to, to wiggle around. If, if you don't know what your person is into uh, and they do like music, you've got the JBL. Uh, if you know they have a bunch of knives, uh, but you never see them working on them, get them a Torx bit. It's perfect to complement an EDC. Um, if, they, if they're always wearing cargo pants, you know, maybe one of these is the right option. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I do like this sort of format with uh, different recommendations. And this is all gear that I purchased with my money. Um, I don't think I have any gifts in here. Um, but these are all excellent, excellent um, choices that they would probably buy for themselves. And it's going to be something out of the ordinary that you can get uh, your person who is into EDC. So uh, that's it for me, guys. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you're planning on getting anything off of this list. I'd love to see you down in the comments. Take care. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.